you were a disruptor when you started this company, and now there is so much disruption in the industry. Yeah. How is Instagram affecting the beauty business, and how are you learning from people even like your kids yeah. as they are so oriented, I'm not talking about your children, but, but yeah. teenagers generally, the preteens are so oriented to what they're seeing online, how they're learning from their peers, how they're learning from these role models they find on social media. Yeah, I think, you know, for beauty, um, Instagram provides a marketing and opportunity that did not exist before, where it's very democratic and you have a lot more diversity in terms of what's available on Instagram. It's fundamentally affecting categories of the business. So what's interesting is the mask category, uh, facial masks, was so teeny in the business. Okay, and so facial masks, like the masks you put on. Yeah, like the Brady Bunch masks. Masks. Cleanse your skin. <laughs> yeah, you leave it on, or... they look black, you know, you peel it off after 10 minutes. A great uh, idea from someone my age, but it's like, sh was shocking to me to learn that like 13 year olds are also You into know what, it, it's a statement. Yeah. So if I wear a mask and I take a picture, I, it means I'm taking care of myself. It doesn't mean necessarily that I've found the best mask ever. Right. Or, um, so it's a statement teenagers are making um, to each other, um, but it's exploded the mask business and the lipstick business has exploded because if I change my lip color, I'm actually changing my Instagram picture. So it's fundamentally affecting pieces of the business. The other thing we have is Instagram first beauty companies. So it's also creating new business models. So Kylie Cosmetics built a $500 million uh, business just through Instagram and her digital site. That is, w would have been unheard of years ago. Uh, we, there's another brand called Winky Lux that built their whole business via Instagram, and now they're turning the retail model on its head where they have a store in New York City, they charge you to go into the store $10, but every room is Instagrammable. And they sell a little bit of product, but it's all about Instagram. And so, but it's a r new retail model. And so Instagram has fundamentally changed the, the business models and how people purchase cosmetics. How does it affect your business? Like, how, how does it affect what, everything from how you learn about products and what's trending and yeah. what might be something that's gonna be popular for a couple of months, so you might wanna carry it for a little while or learn more about it versus something that's gonna be a tried and true long-term seller? Well, I mean, it gives you such access to customer feedback right away. And so it's increased the pace at which we change our merchandising, which I think is really fun. It used to be, you know, we went into the stores and talked to customers, we interviewed them, we emailed them. Now you get instant feedback every day. You can look to see what's trending. And so you have to make, you have to be a merchant and decide, you know, what's important, but you also get great feedback right away about what's important in the, in the business. But by knowing your customer and know, staying true to your customer, you you know how to react to it. 